You ever go yard sale hopping? Uh, I get a lot of tools, I get almost all my tools from yard sales. And sometimes I find some great deals. I was thinking we should probably do a show every week about you know what I found this weekend at a yard sale. <laughs> Yeah, yard sales. That's what uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about that because I guess about a year ago or so, I did a little bit of a show on, you know, best place to find some really good tools is yard sale hopping. I have some rules involved with yard sale hopping. Number one, uh, I usually try to blend it with a trip to a, a, a local stores and other things to pick up that need to be done that day. So I'm not specifically going out and just driving all over the place, you know, to a yard sale. So I generally have like a route, and it takes a while to figure out a route, but uh, we're usually about within 10 miles of the house, and we just kind of do like a loop thing, hit the stores we need, hit the yard sales that we find, and we come back to the house. But every weekend I basically find, usually it's one tool, three tools, eight tools, you just don't know what you're going to run into. But I always look for the deals, and I try to upgrade my tools a little bit, or change things around a little bit that uh, might offer some, you know, new something new. And the deals are out there now. Depending on where you live, it can be it can be a little difficult. So I can't say that to everybody because yeah, you can live pretty remote, and you know there is no yard sale within 50 miles of where you're living. Uh, I'm in a small town, and the next town over is a small town, but between here, there, and the small stores that I go to, I find stuff. And it, sometimes it, it even surprises me quite a bit what I find, uh, such as the Craftsman, the huge <laughs> Craftsman table saw that I have right now. That was a heck of a good find, and it was well within 10 miles of the house. Uh, I did have to get a pickup truck to haul it to get it back to the house, unfortunately, that it happens, you know. But uh, this past weekend, uh, I thought maybe week to week, maybe we'll do a little bit of a video on, you know, what we found at yard sales this week and the kind of deals and the reasons. I'm trying to move away from uh, Ryobi tools a little bit and go over to the Craftsman uh, line for the time being. I like the new Craftsman line, the brushless, I uh, like the handles and uh, the batteries, uh, so far, the battery packs have proven to be, seem to be better than the uh, Ryobi stuff. And I don't know if that's gonna hold up over time or not because uh, I've had trouble with Ryobi in the past with their batteries and I have gone through, I don't know how many of those lithium batteries now. So this one here was at a yard sale. And it included the battery. And it's a 3 8 uh, driver, uh, impact driver. So it's like, it's a pretty cool little machine. It's not something I would normally buy, but because I'm moving towards Craftsman stuff, it was like, well, you know, the battery alone has some value to it, uh, quite a bit of value. So it was like for $45 in this case at the yard sale, it was like, you know, that's a pretty good buy. So I grabbed it and says, okay, we'll take that. But, you know, uh, I'm surprised because I'm buying Craftsman, which has only what been out, this line has only been around for what, a couple of years. And I'm already starting to see them at uh, yard sales and pretty good prices. So you might want to keep an eye out for some, you know, stuff like that if you're into that kind of thing. The other thing I, bought was something that uh, went against the grain, but I checked it. This little Fosner bit, Forstner, Fosner, I don't know how to say that. I'll never get that right, but Forstner, whatever. Anyway, this was $5, but it was made in China. And it was like, ah, yeah, it's like, okay. But I took the, uh, I took a couple of the bits from the set out, out like this. First off, I noticed it was like, it doesn't look used. So it was like, wow, you know, so then we pulled one out and pulled the tops off a couple of these and they are not used and they are razor sharp like like a like a shaving blade you know so it was like wow that might be a pretty good uh fastener kit because the one i have is crap you know it's horrible and it's been like that since day one i tried sharpening some of the larger ones that i could get into and i bought it from ebay which was, yeah, that pretty much says it all right there i think it was twenty dollars and you know, it was uh, like a 50 piece set or something. Yeah, you know, you're not getting quality. And this is because this is China. It was like, well, you know, it's not a brand name. There's no brand name on the box or anything here. So I have no idea, you know, whose brand name this might have been. But for the five lousy dollars, it was like, you know what, we'll buy that too. So this was the two things that over the weekend that I hit on a Saturday morning on my way to the stores that, 
you know, saw a yard sale, eh, pull in and check it out. And like I said, I, I have some uh, strict rules about the yard sale thing. I will not travel, say, 15, 20, 25 miles to go to a yard sale or something. It's just not going to happen. But if I see a sign on the side of the road and I'm on my way to the store to do some uh, grocery shopping and stuff, and it's like, oh, there's a yard, pull in, check it out, see what they have. And just every weekend, it basically, I pretty much bring something back. Uh, what's happening to the Ryobi set is uh, a lot of it, I have gathered up some of it as I've been replacing it and uh, giving it to a local charity that raises money for abused women, that kind of thing. So it was like, you know, the tools are still being recycled, they're being reused, they're just going somewhere else. And I'm not keeping them. And this is coming from a guy that gave away what we've given away thousands of dollars worth of tools this past year. I go to I go yard sale hopping for my own tools, but but have upgraded my tools doing that, and I have less and less money, uh, I guess, invested in my tools, but I have more and more tools. So it's it's a winning game. And the show I did last year, whatever, on it was really about you know the best way to buy tools was like you know consignment stores. Uh, even Goodwill sometimes, but Goodwill's not a very good spot anymore because they sort of auction a lot of their stuff off on their own line and on eBay and stuff, so you really don't get the deals anymore. That's unfortunate. But the other consignment stores, you can find junk stores, and uh, in this case, uh, yard sale. Now there's another thing out there called estate sale, and I think we did something about them just recently, but. Uh, state sales, I generally find, are overpriced, and tools are usually horrendously overpriced at an estate sale, but a lot of them, most of them that I've seen, on a Sunday, they'll have like a 50% off deal, and they'll try to, you know, sort of move stuff a little bit. And even at half off sometimes, they're still kind of, you know, eh, you know, I was at one uh, this past weekend, and even at 50% off, I still wouldn't buy the uh, welder, the drill press, the, the table saws, any of the tools the guy had was like, even at half off, I still wouldn't touch the stuff. It's too high. It's just too high. I'm not willing to pay it. And from what I could see, uh, by looks of uh, people walking up expecting to see a lot of tools for sale, we're getting very quickly disappointed and walking away empty-handed. So, you know, so, yeah, you know, it's, it is what it is. Hey, we've got some stuff to give away today, too. Yeah, this is uh, this was just something I wanted to show you guys because uh, I think maybe, I don't know, maybe every week we'll do a little bit of, you know, what I found at a yard sale this week or something uh, because I always have some stuff that, that I bring in. And like I said, I try to uh, upgrade my stuff and actually have less money involved in it. So, yeah, we have a, uh, we have a draw. We have a draw for five. Wow. Let's go make some tickets and get them in the barrel so we can do the draw thing. Yeah. All right, right before we draw, what we're drawing for is these fence clamps. And they're not very expensive, and we're gonna provide a link in the description below for these. And it will it's affiliated, so it will help the channel if you decide to buy some, in case you don't win today. So that's just a quick message from me. <laughs> and the link will be there, so I promise. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're back. We're ready for rock and roll time. Yes, we have hundreds, hundreds of tickets. And the majority was uh, Canada and Texas. <laughs> Some states only had a few entries, but yeah, there's lots in there. And the other thing I did was I ran over to Walmart and I bought these things and then these bubble packs. And I just realized you and I need to find out right now. I think they'll fit it. They, they should fit in there. Shouldn't be a problem. They look. I didn't check the size or anything, I just grabbed some and thought, oh yeah, oh heck yeah, yeah, that should be, that should be fine. Okay, so we got the, we're ready for the mailer. Let's get five names. Let's see who's all getting these things. And then, now we got to start for the other, the next, the next draw. We'll stir up the tickets. Yep, yeah, and see if we can't, you know. Ugh. Yeah, see, so we'll get them all stirred up. We need five names, so that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, first one, there's the winner is Garrett up in Washington. No, okay, Vancouver, Washington. I keep wanting to say Vancouver, B A B uh, B C, but uh, no, Vancouver, uh, Washington State. Wow, there's, there's ticket number one. Congratulations, Garrett. Wow, cool. Say hi to Greg for me up at that. Well, he's up. He's over. <laughs> he's nearby. <laughs> Another ticket. Alrighty. And we've got uh, CM. 
And, okay, he doesn't have his name here, so we're not going to mail it to him. <laughs> he's, on, he's in Bakersfield, California. Wow, okay. So, and uh, initial CM, so whoever you are, you are. You know who you are. Pff, I don't know who you are. But C could stand for, ah, whatever. Okay, so. Could stand for coffee. Eh, whatever. All right, let's get another one out here. Oh, yes. Now. Ticket number three is Carlos Mon Morentel Valley, California. All right, Carlos. Hey, all right. Cool. We're going for ticket number four. Congratulations, Carlos. Cool, man. All right. We've got a big one here. What's this big one? That's a big fatty one. <laughs> I remember this because uh, I had trouble with the fonting because of the way they mailed it in. I was going to fix it and I didn't, but I, well, it is what it is, but uh, Fred, <laughs> Parlin, New Jersey. And you know what they say in New Jersey, Fred, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You know, don't worry about it. Yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> okay, Fred, congratulations. Come on. Let's see if we can get one more here. What do we got? Let's see who we got here. Okay. And, wow, California, West Coast is killing me here. What's going on? Christopher in Lenmore, Lemore, Lamore, California. Christopher, congratulations. Thanks for entering, Christopher. I have no idea where that town is. Lenmore? No, Le Lamore. Hmm. Anyways. Congratulations to those five. All five of you guys are getting, each getting a set, brand new set of these. And I'm also gonna provide a link below in the description to where you can say buy some of these from, uh, I think you, I've been looking around and yes, you can get these off Amazon, I believe, but I'll, I'll provide a link below where you can find them. And uh, for everybody else, thank you so much again for entering. We had, like I said, a lot of Canadians. A lot of Texas entries, and yet looks like California. Boy, one, two, three in California. One in New Jersey. One in New Jersey. Wow, and one in Washington State, which is again the West Coast. Wow, Jersey and the West. Wow, what the? <sighs> I don't control this stuff. I just try to make it as fair as possible for everybody to get an entry. Wow, that is some strange stuff. I never would have believed it. Okay, so now, what's next? We're gonna move on and we gotta set something up for next week. So, I'm gonna pack this stuff up, get the labels on it, get ready, and this stuff will all be out, going out to you five lucky guys, or girls, can't be sure. <laughs> and uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll be right back with what we're drawing for next week, yes. Okay, so here's what we got going on. Uh, the last number of weeks, and even a few months ago, we did some of these products, and it was like, we need to give these things away and get them out of here. So uh, we're gonna do this about the same as always, but a little different. Okay, to enter, you're gonna have to email to, and I'll, let's, I guess I'll what, stand over here and put it right there, uh, ctrewards at gmx.com. So that's, that's how to enter. Now, that's for the drawing for this stuff that will be given away next Thursday. So the first thing I'm gonna draw for is this brand new little mini fan that helps cool your forehead. And it uh, charges off a USB and lasts for, they say, quite a few hours. So it's kind of a weird thing, but uh, okay. So in the subject line, fan, if this is what you're interested in. So yeah, I'm gonna break this down. And this one we did quite a long time ago, but I did wanna give it away to somebody, a viewer. As like I said, I'm trying not to keep the stuff here. I'm just trying. Uh, let's see. This one is, uh, we did a, the uh, SawSet Pro. We did it, a, oh, months ago. And it's been laying around here. So I need to give this thing away. This is a really cool tool. And what I want the uh, for the subject line, let's just call it, uh, we'll call it Pro. That's easy enough, right? So just write Pro beside me here. For a second that'll be your subject line in your email to show that your entry is for this item and final other item here we did a show oh, oh quite a few weeks back now had a lot of fun with it i'll get this out of the box for a second just show it to you so you can remember what it was 
is these uh, really cool rechargeable electric scissors, which uh, we did a show on. They are really, they are very good. They are very nice, and they're uh, they're going to be given away. So now the scissors for uh, subject line uh, L O X O Lux Luxo. Put that right here so you can see the spelling on it. That will be your subject line if you're interested in drawing for the scissors. And I'll tell you what, one item per household. So if you put your name in for something, that's it, okay? You can't, I don't want you to put your name in for all three items or something. I'm gonna give everybody a chance to get, you know, something off the show, right? You're watching YouTube and this gives you, you know, three different things that we'll be giving away next Thursday. And the uh, email box again is uh, ctrewards at gmx.com. The subject line will either be fan, pro, or that Loxo name. That's a weirdy. Yeah. And next Thursday we'll draw for all three of these items and we'll have three winners, which would be cool. And that's what we're going to do. In the meantime, uh, I've got a new 3D printer in, which we'll probably look at. I'm hoping to look at that one Monday. That should be a, that's going to be a lot of fun. And also, again, if, uh, if for some reason you decide you want those fence clamps, I, the link will be provided in the description below. It's an affiliate link that will help enhance our show a little bit, I hope. So in the meantime, thank you for watching Coffee at Tools. <laughs> Please like, share, and subscribe, always. And guys and girls, we'll see you Monday with a new item. Yes, cool. Over and out.